get in a couple practice strokes. Should be high. This is my 40. I literally went to get my arrow. It dude, let me I have my bind on. It's like deranged. I can't believe it's putting up with us being right here. You want me to mock charge it? <laughs> kind of. It's just chilling. I'm gonna slap. Were your knees knocking? Yes, I could literally, I could hear him breathing. You looked like an adult. No, it was, it was, yeah. I last ranged him at 201. When you first started walking, I'm not kidding. I had it all on video. He looked and then just went back to like I was hunting sniffing. mice. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. And then I was like, dude, is this thing like sick? Yeah, I realized that just walking straight as a coyote is an absolutely absurd tactic. If the way that this would have lined up, if you somehow would have pulled it off, it would have been insane. You can just... It's definitely a little bit warmer tonight. Yeah, like maybe five degrees. It's September 30th, and that also means that it's my birthday, so Nick let me hunt tonight. And this will be the first sit for me with a bow in hand. And this is kind of one of those sits that you have the utmost confidence about. Um, so far, we've hunted this spot two or three times, and last night was one of those, and it was probably by far one of the best sits we've ever had. We ended up seeing like 12 or so bucks, probably 25 deer total, and about three of those were shooters. So as long as they do what they've been doing the past few nights, we should be in the game. We're going to make a pretty significant move, about 200 yards. We were up hanging off the edge of the bedding area last night. We have a wind out of the northeast, and we're going to be moving down to the bottom field where all the bucks ended up last night. So the wind is just an off wind, which if you don't know what that is, basically most of these deer should feel like they have the wind at their advantage. Um, 
but at some point these deer are going to kind of hook assuming they do what they did last night and be downwind of us so for a while we're going to be good and we're, we're praying that it just holds off long enough for us to get a crack at one of these big boys so i'm pretty excited i'm ready to get in the tree
Tonight did not prove to be as fruitful as the past two sits that we've had out here. We we were feeling good considering that one of the first bucks out tonight was a shooter and as you saw he ended up spooking and we're still not sure why. Uh, there is a cattle pasture that was just to our north and we don't know if maybe the cattle were out there and he, he was bothered by them or what. Um, however, the familiar faces from the previous nights did not end up showing. We probably only saw maybe a quarter, if that, of the number of deer, familiar deer, that we've been seeing uh, the past few nights. So definitely a bit slow. Assuming we, we get a similar wind as tonight, tomorrow, uh, we'll probably come back in here. These beans are turning really, really quickly, and we know from previous years that these deer are only going to continue to do this until those beans turn, and then they'll probably move on to different food sources. So at least while we have them, we're going to continue to hunt. Uh, until the deer are no longer here. 